What is up everybody? Today we are back with another video. This one is going to be about a free service called Freebie. If you're from South Florida, you've probably seen them out on the road. I don't know if you got your curiosity, but it did to me and I've been researching how this works, how they're able to make money while providing free rides to everybody, exactly where they are located, what areas they service, stuff like that. I'm gonna answer all of those questions in this video. We're gonna go through the process of booking a ride on their app. I'm gonna let you guys know if I have any issues booking the Freebie service and then whether it's worth it or not. I mean, it's free, so more than likely it is worth it, but is it seamless? Will there be any delays, issues, shortage of drivers maybe? I don't know. So I've actually had to walk a little bit to be in the service area so I can get picked up, and that's where this video will begin. All right, so we are in the app right now. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. You can see that there are some things here that suggest where to go. Publix and Timeout Market, that is a dining hall here in Miami Beach. So right off the bat, we know that these are paid advertisements. So we've already got locked down a major source of income for this, especially here in Miami Beach. Now they do service a lot of areas in South Florida. I will throw up the long list. There's over 20 places, even in St. Petersburg Beach, if you're ever by Tampa or Virginia Beach way up north. But we can see now that we are in the range of their service. When I was outside of it, they were suggesting random places to go in like Delray Beach and then Fort Lauderdale, stuff like that but we are now in the service area for Miami Beach. Unfortunately, they do not go to South Beach, so we're gonna have to stick to the mid beach. I think the furthest south they go is the Publix they are showing here, but we're going to request a ride so you guys can see how this works. We are in a random location. I'm gonna drop the pin where I am right now. Set pickup location. Now let's see, where do we want to go? You see here it suggests prototype gym, and big bus tours on Collins and 43rd. That's kind of nearby, so it doesn't make sense to go there. Plus we don't have a tour book, but we see here categories like restaurants and bars, transit stops, sports and activities, colleges and schools. Uh, I think we're gonna actually go to the Publix it was suggesting. So there are two of them that are serviced in this area. It'll let you know which areas you can go to. And uh, we're just gonna select Sunset Harbor. I like that Publix. So I'm gonna select, take me here. How many passengers? It is just one. Uh, it'll let you know if you need an accommodation, like a wheelchair, car seat, booster seat, stuff like that. So it's very thoughtful. I appreciate that, but we do not need any accommodations. So we're gonna confirm the ride just for me. I'm currently in queue to be picked up by one of their drivers. So I guess that's the big thing right now. They're confirming the request. And if this takes a very long time, then I don't see how this can be a reliable way to get around. Especially here in Miami Beach when there is the trolley service, a free trolley service. Miami, downtown Miami, they have a free trolley service. So this would probably be beneficial if you don't have money, don't have a car, and you want a uh, entirely free way to get to where you have to go. And it's in the service area. So right now we are still waiting. Whew, I guess I'll pick up from when we find a ride and we'll see what time that was at. So my app just crashed, but we are still good. The message says, I'm finishing up a ride at the moment, dropping off current user and then heading towards you. So they are communicating. I can reply and say thank you or just close it. Uh, is there a map of where the driver? Yes, there is. So they are by Pine Tree Park. Funny thing, I was gonna actually start the video there, but I did not wanna walk that far. So as soon as they're done picking up somebody, they will come my way. Hopefully we have the vehicle to ourselves. Maybe we'll ask the driver a couple of questions but I think I have them all figured out. The advertising is the major, if not the only source of revenue. There's also, by the way, cities that are adding this service into their budgets. We've seen it here in Miami Beach, city of West Miami. Let me not walk too far away from my pickup point, but cities are implementing this into their budget because it is very beneficial to expand transportation, affordable transportation to people. And uh, it's a big plus in anyone's book. So regardless of how my experience is today, I am still fully supportive of a free service to people who need to go to work or school and it's just like a short ride away so a plus in my book but let's see if this really is a seamless experience all right so it says in the message 15 to 20 minute eta that is not that bad hopefully it is accurate but i am standing outside so it is pretty hot the good thing is you can actually translate it it is an automated message i believe but you can hit Spanish and get the translation right in the app. Um, checking on my driver. It's still in the same location. Let me show you guys. It is still by that park, so I'm not sure if this is in real time. Hopefully, 
we get an updated location because I've been waiting out here for, I think it's only been 10 minutes, so it might be accurate. Hey, how you doing? No recording? Yeah. Is that like company policy? Well, just for me. Oh, for you? And there, there's a camera recording for our safety workers. Okay, is it cool if I just pointed at me then? Oh, of course, yeah. I just wanted to film the ride. Thank you. Alright, that's cool. So we just took the freebie to Publix. Unfortunately, that driver did not want to be on camera. So bummer, we're gonna have to take another freebie back anyway, and hopefully it's not the same driver. I will keep canceling until we get a different one that is more open to being on camera. So I did respect his, his wishes and filmed the exterior of the ride, as you guys saw, but uh, it's not enough for me. It's not enough for me. I need to get the whole experience. I wanted to show you guys the entire interior of the vehicle, but obviously that included showing the driver. Let's go ahead and order another one. We have just ordered our ride back and I am happy because it is not the same driver. No disrespect to him, but I want to make this video as uh, immersive as possible and I want to show you guys the entire vehicle. So our new driver is named Eloy and I'm actually chatting with him now. He says to verify my pickup and drop off location. So I did and let's see how long this will take. Thank you. So much here you go oh thanks Bob. appreciate that man thank you you have a great day thank you all right let's go inside and do a review we just got home did freebie to Publix which is about 10 minute drive away and then came right back home um, so what did I think of it well first of all this was a seamless experience the first time we got picked up it was about 15 to 20 minutes just like the app said so it was accurate it wasn't like, we'll be there in five minutes and then they took 15 minutes. So good on them on being punctual. The second time around, we only waited about five minutes and that's because I believe this driver was already free or starting his shift because he was coming from South Beach and that's not in the service area. Uh, so the first one took 15 minutes because they were already dropping off somebody. So this was honestly a really cool experience and I'm trying to compare it to the trolley because it is a free service. But the main difference that I'm seeing here is the trolley has like a million stops. You're riding with a whole bunch of other people. I'm sure this one you can ride share. I'm not sure if it's one party per vehicle, but it still beats having to stop at every single block for other people to get on and off. So. Good on them for that it's just very limited in scope and i'm only talking about miami beach for how limited it is because obviously there are other places the services and it might just be more expansive i think the hialeah one has like a huge area compared to miami beach so don't just base it off of miami beach like i am right now uh but other places across miami county and even south florida as a whole so this specific ride, I think the first ride, I don't think there was a sponsor, at least I didn't notice. Maybe it was just the city of Miami Beach sponsoring it. But the second one was wrapped in celebrity cruises. There was a TV inside showcasing a celebrity cruises commercial. So that second ride was sponsored by celebrity cruises, or at least they contributed to freebie as a service. And it's a great place to advertise because Miami Beach is full of tourists. I mean, I don't know if celebrity cruises would have their advertising on some random town i think they pick and choose which sponsor works best for where their fleet is located so yeah all in all I had a great experience um be mindful of your driver they may not want to be on camera you can take pictures or anything just uh just make sure that they're okay with it the second driver did not give me an issue i was recording the whole time i was able to get more 
more shots for you guys to see the inside of the vehicle. So there are two seats in the front, two seats in the middle, and then two seats in the back. They all have seat belts. I like freebie. I want to see more cities implement it. That means adding them to their budget. They do need funding, not just from advertising, but cities need to give this a big push. I do have some note that I want to share with you guys. Speaking of their advertising, as soon as you finish, you get to review your ride out of five stars. I will put five stars, but we have Celebrity Cruises sponsorship right here. All right, so in some areas, Tri-Rail does provide vouchers for people who are getting off at one of their stations and wants to take an Uber or taxi to basically cover the last mile, so to speak. On June 27th, Tri-Rail replaced Uber and taxi vouchers with freebie at their Cypress Creek station. So that is really cool and a really big thing and a big win for freebie because this is a local transportation service, a big transportation service, giving a push to freebie and I'm glad to see it. I mean, up until that point, they were giving away Uber and taxi vouchers. So they just said, we're going to replace it with freebie. They support freebie and a big win to them. Congratulations to freebie. I've seen a lot of cities implementing this over time. I see them all the time here in Miami Beach. So thank you so much. Hit the like button if you absolutely enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I do a lot of these kind of videos. I have a playlist. This is going under the transportation and free things to do playlist here on this channel. Check those out. I have a lot of videos and I'll catch you guys in the next video.